Hello beauty lovers. I hope you're having a fabulous day. This is my very first e.l.f. beauty haul and I learned about e.l.f. cosmetics by watching other e.l.f. beauty hauls on YouTube. I also want to give you my very first impressions of these products. The first thing is the e.l.f. beauty bundle and it comes in this bag. Full size products. Um, this comes every other month. It is $19.99 plus shipping and handling. Uh, very well worth the money what you pay for and very true to the elf eyes lips face you get a variety of products to try and the first item is the little black beauty book warm edition and it's in a cute little um, palette like this and open it up and there's the sponge applicator uh, I definitely use beauty brushes there is a ton of eyeshadows. There's shimmer, there's matte, mainly neutral colors, but there's a few bright colors, uh, light colors as well. Um, I really don't have but one other uh, palette. I have the uh, Coastal Scents palette. Uh, actually, I have the second and the third revealed palette. The next item is the Pressed Mineral Bronzer. This is in peach. This really is exactly what my skin tone is. So it's very difficult to very, you can see the goldish glow. Um, but it blends so well into my skin tone that it's very difficult to see. The next item is the matte lip color. The problem that I have with this color natural is it exactly the same as my skin tone. So when I put it on my lips, my lips disappear. So what I'm thinking about doing with this is actually using it as a primer. Possibly also using a darker lip color and then putting this over the darker lip color. I'm definitely going to try that out. This is the natural uh, lip color. The next item is the Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick. I absolutely love the Jumbo, uh, these lip crayons. Uh, this is in Tiki Torch, a very pretty coral. It's pretty light. Um, it's very creamy as well. Uh, the next item is the waterproof eyeliner very fine tip and very pigmented so you can never go wrong with having eyeliners whether they're waterproof or not I use a lot of black eyeliners all the time the next item is the eye refresh and this it says that you can use this more than once a day. It has the little roller ball. I have a dark circles under my eyes, um, especially in the morning and then also after I take a shower. So I definitely want to try this out, see if it lightens up that area under my eyes. The next item is the uh, makeup remover pen. And what I heard about this from different reviews is when you use this to remove your makeup is that it discolors the tip of the pen and it does say on the box that you can uh, clean this off. And what I'm wondering is the waterproof uh, makeup, is it harder to clean off of the tip of this? I will check this out uh, next time I use the waterproof or just the regular makeup and see if this is harder to remove the waterproof makeup. The next item is the top coat, mascara top coat. I do not have a top coat for my mascara, the regular mascara. I do have waterproof mascara. I will show you the brush, very long. So I definitely want to try that out. Uh, next is the shine erasers, the blotting papers. These are so convenient to have in your purse. 
anytime that that shine um, is especially during the hot and humid weather that's perfect the next item is the face primer this has an SPF uh, uh, sunscreen this product I have tried out it has a very light texture like ba uh, baby oil and you can definitely smell the sunscreen what I'm wondering is if you have oily skin will this make it more oily shiny my skin is very dry so this definitely works for me it definitely moisturizes blends in there's no extra excess on my skin the next item is the smudge pot um, this is in got a glow very creamy and golden Let's see right here that's that's right in there kind of see it very light color um, this is from they have an essential line and a studio line these items are from the essential line they start out as a dollar and then the studio line um, I believe this is under the studio line is three dollars and up the next item is the makeup lock and seal I have never heard of a um, product like this before uh, I have seen the ones where the setting spray and it has the pot the liquid and the brush you put the liquid into the pot small amount uh, dip the brush in it and then you dip the brush into the product that you're applying to your face it's supposed to set it to where it lasts all day and I definitely want to try that out and see the difference between that and the setting spray this is um, the products that I purchased separately I did get the eye widener I have never tried um, this type of product um, in case you don't know you apply it to under on your waterline and it's supposed to open make, open up your eyes as opposed to the black which kind of closes off a little bit and this has the sharpener so that is great um, the next item is the all color stick this is in pink lemonade and very pink and pigmented and let's see the next item these are the matte lip colors this is actually the um, the rich red and I absolutely love this especially for fall that's that color right there and very creamy and this is the wine and it's very dark very beautiful color for fall and the next one is Hot Commodity. This one makes me think of a Barbie pink. So, and this one I definitely would use in my recommendation or just for myself, in my opinion, is just this one would be good for spring and summer as opposed to fall and winter that you think of more of the darker colors, but you can wear it all season, all the seasons. Um, this one is the um, dash of pink. It's also makes me think of a Barbie color as well. So, okay, that was for those. And also purchased the liquid lip colors. I have the pink slipper. And this one, let me pull the product out. Okay, so you can see it. You have to really twist these sometimes to get the product to really come out. And that one, very beautiful color. And I did purchase this one, used it, and then I ended up purchasing another. This one is the Cherry Tart. And let's see. That one, beautiful color. And then the next thing I purchased was the lipstick, and this is in Classy. 
and another very pink color and it also makes me think of the Barbie pink um, the next the last item is the brush shampoo um, I understand there's a spray as well to clean your brushes this one um, just like a texture a regular shampoo um, it's for deep cleaning uh, I did see some reviews of this and the reviews I watched that were demonstrating this product is they were using up a lot of product and as opposed to just spraying the brushes and doing like a spot clean this is more the intense um, deep cleaning for the brushes and I didn't have anything to clean my brushes with so I am excited to have this overall I think I'm going to really enjoy the e.l.f. cosmetics very affordable starting from the essential line starting at a dollar uh, the studio line starting at three dollars from what I understand and I definitely would try it out different products different colors and see what works best for me what I enjoy also I want you to please comment on the elf products that you love and also um, please subscribe and I very well appreciate you uh, watch taking the time to watch this video and hope you like it uh, I will try to review other products that when I make more purchases and do another elf product review or elf beauty haul so I hope you have a very um, great day and see you next time.